Hello, welcome to video 11. We're going to look at uh, what happens when we have a percentile and we want to find some values. So this problem says a researcher wants to poll 200 students at our college to obtain information about females with eating disorders at their campus. Nationally, about 12% of college females have some eating disorder. If her college is the same as the national percentage, what would be the 90th percentile for her PHAT? Uh, in her study. So if we're going to uh, poll 200 women, uh, we could first check to see if this looks like a normal distribution. So we have 200 times 0.12 and j just check to see if that's greater than 10. 200 is going to be 24. That's clearly greater than 10. And then we have to do n times 1 minus p 1 minus 0.12 is 0.88. And check to see if that's greater than 10. That's uh, much greater than 10. That's 176. So we can use a normal distribution. Great. We got that figured out. So now that we can use a normal distribution, now let's come over here. We know that the distribution, if I draw something out here, it's going to be centered, assuming her students are exactly uh, like the national average. This is going to be centered around 0.12. Now we want to look at the variation to find the standard deviation for a p hat. So that's a uh, uh, standard deviation for p hat that's going to be p times 1 minus p all over n, and then square root that. And that's my standard deviation. So now we just have to fill in the information. We're going to take 0.12, multiply it by 0.88, and divide that by 200. Now if I oops, fill this in. Now we're going to say equals. I got negative 0.0229. So let's do our not negative, positive 0.023 is our standard deviation. So now we have our mean, and we have our standard deviation, 0.023. So now the question says, what is the 90th percentile? So if I shade that in green, 90th percentile, it's going to come up here and shade up to somewhere around here. So we're looking for what p hat is the 90th percentile. Now, there's two ways that we did this in our previous chapter. If we wanted to find p uh, of a value when we have the percentile, we could uh, do inverse norm of uh, 0.9 and get 1.28. So uh, z equals 1.28. So now we can write our equation 1.28 z is equal to our mean, 0.12, or actually x value, minus our mean over our standard deviation, which is 0.023. Now we can just solve this by multiplying by 0.023, and I got uh, 0.029475 equals x minus 0.12. And then when I add 0.12 to that, I get my x value is equal 0.1494705. So, so about 15% would be the 90th percentile if she took a study like that. Well, that's what she would, ex the, she could expect that 
or less 90% of the time. The other way to do it is just do inverse norm 0 0.1, 0 0.9 with a mean of 0.12 and a standard deviation of 0.023. Uh, but that's just plugging things in your calculator. All right, one more problem. A mill worker is using a machine to cut timbers that are four feet long. He knows that his machine usually has a standard deviation of 0.1 feet per board. If he measures 40 boards, what should be the 10th percentile? So since this is 40, we know that it's a normal distribution. So normal uh, because of central limit theorem. So now we can use our normal distribution. The mean should be about four feet long. Now the standard deviation of the means, because we're looking about we're looking at the tenth percentile for the means, the standard deviations for the means should be 0.1 divided by the square root of 40. So now if I take my Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. Uh, for the 10th percentile, I do inverse norm of 0.1, and I get negative 1.28. And I'm going to subtract my X value minus my mean of 4 over my standard deviation, which is 0.1 divided by the square root of 40. And to that, I get 0 0.0158. 0 0.0158. So now we multiply both sides by 0 0.0158. And I get negative 0 0.020 something, and then equals x minus 4. If I add 4 to both sides, my x is going to get the 3.98. So my 10th percentile will be 3.98. So uh, any variation from that, and we know it's off.